Hello, this is Majida, the founder of Global Education Academy. In this presentation, I will provide you with as much as possible of details about the changes of the selective placement test in 2021. Um, so this is the outline of the presentation. Um, we'll go through the changes to 2021 test. I will explain the thinking skills framework. This is the most important one. I'll give you some sample questions uh, written by us. They are appropriate for year six students. I will give you some links for more resources for the thinking skills. Um, I will go through the changes in our program, changes in our mock test, and what we are offering for our students during the holiday course and also during um, the rest of the program. So let's go through it. So as you know, following the 2018 review by the department um, for the selective test, the changes are introduced. So in 2021 um, stage, um, one of the changes, um, it will the test will stay paper based. Uh, however, from 2022, the test is moving to be computer based as an adaptive test. We'll focus now on the changes of the 2021 only. Um, these changes are up to date uh, up to 9th of the 11th um, 2020. Uh, this is a small comparison for the test as we know it until 2020 and the test that will be um, the new the first change which is happening on the 11th of March 2021. The two um, tests are still paper based as I mentioned. Um, the previous test or the current test um, up to 2020 was written by ACER. From next year, the test that will be introduced is written by Cambridge Assessment. And this is the whole um, change. It's, it's a huge change for the thinking skills. The components. Um, the, as we know it, the math um, up to date was 40 questions, multiple choice in 40 minutes it will become uh, mathematical reasoning skills. It's still multiple choice. We don't know how many questions and we don't know how many minutes yet. The English was reading comprehension. It will stay as reading comprehension, but it will be um, called reading skills. Um, it is a multiple choice test. However, we don't know how many questions and we do not know how many minutes are allocated for this test as well. General ability. It used to be 60 minutes, um, sorry, 60 questions in 40 minutes. These are the abstract reasoning and the verbal reasoning. This test is changing completely to be called thinking skills. It's a new framework, a new test. Now, we don't know if it's going to be 60 questions or not. I will come to this um, later. And also, we don't know how many minutes. Um, the writing will stay as one piece, and this is what's announced up to date. The three multiple choice tests are marked by computer um, as we know it, but the writing is uh, marked by uh, humans. The most significant changes are the number of questions in each component has not been confirmed and may change. But the most significant one is actually replacing the outdated general ability test with the thinking skills assessment test. As you may um, notice, the test is going towards more skill based than content based. There are no sample questions available yet on the website. However, we will provide our own practice um, um, test our practice questions uh, towards the end of this presentation. We do not expect 60 questions in the thinking skills assessment. The questions are not as immediate as the general ability, so they take time to solve and they're not easy. This is why we doubt 60 questions of them. And as I said, the new test will be skill based rather than content based. Now, let's let me take you through the framework of the thinking skills component. As the test is written by Cambridge, we expect that Cambridge will use the same framework for their uh, thinking skills assessment. Um, we found practice tests by Cambridge, but this is for university admission students. 
um, I'll give you the link towards the end of the presentation. So what happened, we took this practice test um, and we used, we modified it to suit year six students um, in Australia. So we expect that the test will be written using the same framework. But it, of course, it will be appropriate for year six level. So let's go through the framework and um, I will explain more later. So the framework for uh, thinking skills, according to Cambridge, is um, that there are two components. One is the problem solving, which is more mathematical oriented. And um, that one, the problem solving has three sub components and the critical thinking, which is mainly English based and that that has seven sub components. So let's let's go through the problem solving. So the problem solving, they will ask about three main things. Relevant selection, which is selecting the key information needed to solve a problem and disregard the redundant information in the question. Number two will be finding procedures. So identify a method that will arrive to a solution. And three, identifying similarity. So identify another situation or a problem in similar structure that can be solved using a similar method. I will give you, I will introduce some practice um, or sample questions for these three components. Now the critical thinking, um, it has seven skills and they are going from easy to more challenging. So number one would be ident identifying the main conclusion. So finding a statement which is supported by the rest of the information given. Number two is drawing a conclusion. So identifying a conclusion that is not stated. So number one, identifying the conclusion, the conclusion is stated. So students need to identify it. However, number two will be, they will have to draw a conclusion. So they will be given option and they need to draw to choose which conclusion they can draw using the uh, information given. But the conclusion is not stated, while in number one, it is stated. Number three, it's a little bit more complex. So identifying an assumption, something which is not stated in the text, but is taken for granted in order to draw the main conclusion. Number four, assessing the impact of additional in evidence. So they will be given a text and students will be asked which of the following um, information will weaken the um, argument or which one of the following information will strengthen the argument. Number five is detecting reasoning errors. So to find the flow in the argument. Number six will be matching arguments. So students need to identify another argument that it has a similar structure of um, an argument that is given and number seven applying principle so students need to apply the principles which underlines an argument on another argument so as you can see these are not simple these are very um, complex and students to have need to have the right thinking skills to be able to answer them correctly so I, I need you not to panic. So please, if you have a child who is sitting the test in 2021, do not panic. Whatever is happening, it will affect all the students sitting the test. As the outcomes are moderated and standardized, it will affect everyone and hence no one will be disadvantaged. So keep that in mind. Do not panic and um, do not pass that on your children. That's the most important thing. Now, our approach is parallel to the recommendations of, for the change. So yes, finally, I'm very glad and very happy for this change because um, the GA test was very outdated and was very biased. So currently the change will be advantaging the students who know how to think. And this is exactly what we teach here at GA. We already have or have been um, um, preparing our students to think, thinking skills. So this is really important and I want you not to panic. We are on top of things. Our upsell strategy, the understand, plan, solve and learn strategy 
is the ultimate way of teaching problem solving. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful we are using this um, strategy so our students know how to understand, plan, solve, and learn from questions. And that is the problem solving that is coming, um, or more emphasis will be on the problem solving part. Our students are not disadvantaged by the change, so keep that in mind, please. And here are some um, practice questions. Um, I will go through every question and we will, um, I will also explain how to solve this que these questions and some of them are followed by um, detailed um, solutions as well. Question number two, that's a sample question by us. So problem solving, finding procedures. So the question is given um, um, a column graph. So there is a bar chart shows the number of tickets sold for a movie theater over four nights. Premium tickets cost more than standard tickets. Um, on which day, so the question ask, is asking on which day did the movie theater earn the most from ticket sales? And they have four options. We have four days. The gray color is the standard, which is the cheaper. And the yellow is the premium, which is um, the more expensive one. So I'll let you read the, the solution here. So as, as you can um, appreciate, the, the question needs a lot of thinking skills here. They need to find uh, a procedure to solve this type of questions. Now, the critical thinking. Um, component number one, which is the easiest one, identify the main conclusion. So there is a text of um, a, a short paragraph and then the question is which one of the following expresses the main conclusion of the passage above again this is um, something that students are familiar with however they're not familiar with a small text but we will be um, we will be giving them a lot of these type of questions um, in the rest of the program Now, changes to our program uh, at GAA, we are replacing the general ability components that are not relevant anymore with thinking skills questions, similar to what I showed you in this presentation. Our holiday courses, um, we are replacing one hour of the GA during the holiday courses with two hours of thinking skills, but no additional charges will be um, introduced. So the holiday courses, instead of 9 to 1, will be 9 to 2, Monday to Friday. And our mock test, we will replace the GA test with thinking skills from the next mock test. We will keep you informed at all times. I need you to be assured that we are on top of all these changes. Now, um, please note that these are, these are links for... Um, some resources that we found on the Cambridge website. However, they are university admission questions. They are not year six Australian students. So just for you to have an idea about the, the level, um, the type of questions, not the level, the type of questions that students will be asked in 2021 uh, selective test. However, the level will be moderated to suit year six Australian students. Some of them are on the Oxford as well. Again, it's the same framework that we found. From GAA, we wish all students sitting the test all the best. We know how overwhelming it is this year, um, especially what has been happening. 
Um, yes, these changes are major. However, these changes will advantage the students who know how to think. And we have been preparing you for exactly that. So we believe in you. You can do it. You can think. You can do it. If you can think, you can do it. And we know you can.